what is up guys welcome to the fifth episode of this series today we actually have a few things that are going to be done soon i would like to show you we are waiting on where is this okay we are waiting on crawl to finish the idea of animal taming which i'd like to do and then also the sundial which will be done tomorrow as well for now we can take care of our plants do some of that fun stuff and then worry about all that tomorrow it doesn't look like anything is ready to be picked yet unfortunately but now we can just water everything i'd like to have the animals as our main focus so we might rush through today just spend all my energy as quick as we can so we can get ready for the animal taming tomorrow which i'm really excited about tomorrow being this episode just one sleep away <laughs> you guys ever measure stuff in sleeps i uh I remember as a kid, I used to say how many sleeps till like Christmas, you know, it wasn't like how many days for some reason it was how many sleeps. And then I'd always try and squeeze a nap in to make it one. <laughs> like, oh, if I take a nap, will that rush the number of sleeps? The answer, sadly, no. But if you try really hard, you could turn that nap into a full sleep. I've done that. Those are the best type of naps, though. When you wake up and you're disoriented, you're like, what time is it? Where am I? <laughs> is this heaven? I have no idea. <laughs> Those are the best type of sleeps, in my opinion. When you wake up and you're just clueless of the world, no idea what's going on, where you are. Who's president? You're just totally lost. Even best is when I uh, live in a house full of people. You wake up and the house is quiet. And you're like, this doesn't make sense. Where's my dog? Where's the fam? Where's my brother? Where is everyone? I'm sure this probably isn't the best way, by the way, to actually play this game by rushing through a full day. It's probably a lot like Stardew. There's a lot you can do every single day. What I'm rushing. And at least we'll have resources in case we decide to do something. All right, going to sleep. Is that... What is... That's just a rock, I think. Cool. Everything's watered. Vegetables look fine. Uh, hey. What's wrong with you? No one wants to talk, right? And then you can hit your J. No smoke signals, fine. Still nothing new to... We can make a well. We don't need to. Drying rack is kind of interesting. Probable rays can produce... To preserve items. A fermenter. Mm. Nah, I'm going to wait for that. All right, let's do it. Sleepy time. Uh, We might need contribution, though. I wonder if we need contribution. We probably need contribute. I haven't even looked up here yet. Um, all the way up here. Uh, just the end of the map. Wait, it's locked? Does that mean we can unlock it? There's clearly a lock there. Is it down here? Ooh. Hmm. Nothing, no giveaways there. I don't think I've searched my entire camp yet. Let me just look around my entire camp real quick. Because there might be other, like, resources to use somewhere around here. And I just haven't found them, you know? Who's this guy? Yeah, I don't want to listen to you. Never mind. I really don't care who you are, i got to be honest. Who, who are you, though? Ah, you're the one who kills animals, but also teaches us to love them. She painting? What you painting? Who's this guy? I lost. She was cheating. Mm. That's why I say every time I lose. My girlfriend. Outrageously good at Mario Karts, okay? No idea why. And every time I play her, she beats me. I swear she must be cheating. I feel pretty good about, like, my ability to play Mario Karts and ability to play most video games. 
But some reason, she is just... Okay, he can't even build stuff right now because he's so focused on the... Uh, on that item there, so that's good. What are you guys doing? Well, hello there! Uh, she looks like her pixel is like, oh, she looks pretty cute. Then, eh, I guess she looks fine. I don't know. Alright. Some kids! Hi, kids! Uh, I'm trying to see if any of them will, like, trigger a mission or something. I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm not. Oop. Why I'm not talking to them longer or doing something with the information that they're giving me. I'm sure there's no good information anyways. I love how he just walks around the garden and walks to the other side. He's like, ooh, more garden. Like, dude, the garden hasn't changed. Okay, let's go turn everything in. Well, at least have 100 contribution in case there's crazy stuff to do. But... All right, in the morning, we uh, we tame some animals or making waffles. I'm not sure which one, but we will sure find out. Let's go. Sleep time. Sleep, sleep. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's do it. Now then, we must find them. Crawl. There you are, crawl. We have to take care of my plants too, but crawl is gonna teach us how to make animals. I think the basic structure will be enough for now. We'll call it a small shed. It's not too different from what we use, but I made sure a place to sleep. You've brought me the materials to build one shed. Come check in with me. Two hundred and fifty contribution. I'll be back. I also have to go talk to uh, the the lady, Maria. Are any of these done? They don't look done yet. Ugh. How the heck are we gonna get two hundred and fifty contribution? I thought a hundred contribution would be enough. Oh well. Guess we'll have to do planting and stuff tomorrow. Is ready. Whenever we gather the materials, we can build one. Wait, you can build it? Or Crawl can build it. I think Crawl can build it. Okay. Let's go harass, harass Crawl to build us a sundial, at least. Then we have to figure out how to get 250, which is not a small amount of contribution. As you guys can probably tell. But, we can do it. Oh, sundial's free. Build one. Oh, crap. Really? Wait, what? That thing's gonna be huge! Okay, well, I guess water the plants and do a quick sleep? I wanna see the sundial. I thought it would be a small sundial. I don't, I don't know why, I think sundial, I think like... glorified... gardening gnome or something. Like, it sits in your garden and just kinda gives you a little idea of where the sun is, but not really. I'm sure once we finish all these, this will be enough to uh, give us 250 contribution. That's why I think we're just going to do another quick sleep. You know, one, hit it with one more quick, quick sleep. And then these will all be done. And then we can uh, do probably the contribution. And sadly, that won't be done today, though. Not this episode. I want to do the small shed. We unlocked the small shed. I think tomorrow will be the construction and obviously the taming. Tomorrow being the next episode, the construction and taming of the uh, of the animals. If we can get 250 contribution. Which, I'm sure once these all grow, that'll be 250 contribution. I think we were getting 8... What did we turn in yesterday? Like, 4 items and we ended up with 30? So... I don't know, around eight a, uh, an item. And that's going to be way more than one or two items. So. And we already have a hundred contribution. Ah. 
I'm just gonna leave those spots. I'm sure they probably prevent stuff from spawning, but I really don't need stuff to spawn, to be honest with you. Quick sleep. Hmm. We didn't turn anything in for contribution. That's okay. Oh my god, look! It's harvesting day! Woo! Look at all this! Oh, nice. He's... They don't even disappear. I where I was going to have to replant after. I killed those turnips. Wait, only the tomatoes finished? No. And I killed the turnips. We have new plants. That's not a heat. It just kind of stinks. That's okay. What are you going to do, man? That won't be enough to unlock the, uh... We draw the fermenter. But I don't think that's 250 contribution. Pretty sure it's not. No, and they can't even... Yeah, I just want to go in there. Hmm. <laughs> How to get 250 contribution quick. The the real question. Let's go turn in these real quick. We can go check if that sundial's finished as well, but for now we'll just sell all these. I'm sure we could probably run out again and go check up on all those items. We've passed like three or four days, so everything probably out in the wild is done as well, more than likely. So we can go check out out there in a minute. Sundial is not finished yet, but it looks like it will probably be finished tomorrow. For now, I guess we can go head out into the wilderness real quick and get all those plants. I don't think there's a point of improving or building up any more relationship with the animals right now until we get the, uh, the next location. We are currently building that sundial, which should be done soon. Good stuff. All right, let's go see all the plants out in the wild, see if those are ready. We got some onions, we got some... Some beets, some other fruits, cave carrots. Okay. We what? gave him 15, which if each is eight, then it's like, then we have 250. But if each isn't eight, we don't have two. We haven't been out here in a little bit, so a lot of these should be done. Exactly. This is beautiful. That's really good stuff. Oh, it's garlic. Not onion. Reminds me of holes. You guys remember holes when they found that garlic saved them from the snakes? Spoiler. <laughs> to the movie Holes from 2004? <laughs> I don't know if it was 2004. It was probably around there. Look at all that. Never mind. We'll have enough. We'll have enough for sure. Oh, yeah. We'll have enough money. Maybe. And we'll have so many extra uh, seeds as well, which I don't know if we'll do anything with the seeds right now, but maybe eventually. Look at all this. Dude. Am I going to plant everything? I don't think so. I how long that would take you to plant all these things I just gathered. Hey, goats. 
Yeah, we'll have the contribution for next episode. So next episode, small shed time and hopefully taming of an animal. Maybe I'll ride an animal into battle. Nice. Let's go sell everything at the uh, at that bucket. And um, we still have a lot of time. I could technically plant stuff as well, potentially, if I want to. Is this episode five? Yeah, we'll probably go to episode 10, I guess. Running back to the, the camp. Turn in some snacks and make more contribution points. So the Stone Age people like me. You do. Almost back to camp. Am I going to plant more fruit and vegetables? Probably not. I'm not sure how much time I want to actually invest in fruits and vegetables. That's that's like my big worry is that I invest way too much time into it. Like all my energy every day. And then you guys get just 10 days of me growing fruits and vegetables, which sounds quite boring if you ask me. That dang quinoa, baby. That better sell for some pretty money. I guess we could go plant more. Like, do we care? We have a well. I guess we can plant more. Whatever. Let's just do it. What's a six, seven, eight... Nine. Kind of stinks. I can't do a line here because this rock, and we can't kill the rock because. Seems like tomatoes are good, man. I like tomatoes because it seems to me that tomatoes are multi harvestable. And I think tomatoes will last. There are seasons in this game, which you guys haven't really seen, but whenever you log on, it tells you what season it is. Oh, up top, spring, year one. So like there are seasons, I'm not sure which vegetables will go between seasons. So there's a small chance that I ruin some vegetables when we go in between seasons, but I'm not sure. Hopefully we don't ruin too many. I don't wanna go and tie another water skin here. Is that enough? That's good. And I guess we can place like quinoa, 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 quinoa. So this is now four water skins worth of watering, which is fine. Obviously, it is what it is at this point. It's not like we can do much about it. We planted it. I'm going to take care of it, but. Let's, uh, let's clear this out, then we go to sleep, find out how much money we made, and wrap up the episode, per usual. Which means next episode's probably animal taming? Or some sort of animal obtaining? Obtaining? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the small shed actually does. But until then, we hang out and fill up some more space, see if we got 250 contribution. Hopefully we did. I'm sure um, domesticated vegetables are worth more than wild ones. <laughs> domesticated. Yeah, I probably use the right terminology there, right? <laughs> hey. Okay. It's about training hard. Sleep time. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roots of Pacha. Make sure to support them in the description down below with, on their Kickstarter mm. and check out all their social media pages and that stuff. Mm. Baby, let's go! Let's go! Dude, they give you 10 apiece for grown tomatoes. Yeah, I thought so. I thought domesticated tomatoes would be worth more. These are worth 
10 apiece. These are worth five. Wild tomatoes are five. Domesticated tomatoes, 10 apiece. They double in price based on their, their domestication level. Thanks guys so much for watching. I will catch you all next episode. See you guys.